Yo guys, what's going on? Welcome back to GTA 5 single player series. Today we're actually going to be working for the O'Neill Farms. We actually do work out here for O'Neill. And he actually requested that we go pick up his brand new lawnmower. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to make our way out to the U-Tool there by uh, US Route 13, I believe it is. That um, interstate there at that exit Sandy Shores. And we're going to go to the U-Tool, pick up our brand new lawnmower. We got our nice uh, Crew Cab Chevy Silverado 2019 version here. We got ourselves a nice car trailer. We're going to hop into this. I did forget who actually made the um, trailer or the truck, but I believe the trailer is made by I'm Not Mental. It's a script as well, which is nice. Dude, look at the interior. Check that out. Brand new 2019. And yeah, that's what we're going to be kind of going with today. We're going to make a road trip out all the way there. O'Neill does have a lot of money. So he ended up upgrading his entire truck. Just to de It looks like a default truck right now, but I'm actually going to set a waypoint to here. I believe it's somewhere just off over here. If I'm not mistaken. It's somewhere over here on the interstate that I recall correctly. But yeah. Actually, I was kind of shocked because it was a lawnmower. I can't remember who made it. I think it's Bagged, honestly. Made the lawnmower. I'm really bad with names. I threw this stuff in a while ago and I just completely forgot to uh, check who made it. But I will have all the links down in the description below for the truck, the trailer mod, as well as the lawnmower mod. Just to... Uh, just because if you guys end up wanting to use it. I know the car trailer's been used a lot. We're actually going to wait for these guys to go. I'm going to wait for that Prius. I gotta wait for those two mofos. We're going to go before this biker gets here. But yeah, like I said, O'Neill did upgrade this truck. Full engine, full transmission. Uh, best brakes you can probably get. But with it being a... Uh, the mod, I can't actually throw any attachments or anything on it. And I realized that a lot of trucks isn't actually aren't actually uh, a lot of trucks are not actually able to pull this trailer i've i've tested at least five or six different truck mods before i found this one that can actually pull the trailer which kind of sucks even though i did replace the trailer i didn't use it as an add-on it is a replace so but yeah it does really really suck but there's really not much i can do with that oh damn it i can't pass this mofo either See if we can try to maybe... Oh, nope, 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 nope. No sneaking in. Uh, are you two is coming up. Motherfucker, you piece of shit, Prius. I don't understand why this stretch of road is only 35 miles an hour. I don't understand that one bit, though. I was actually right on the waypoint, just about. There's the U-Tool right there. Why are you motherfuckers stopping? Jesus Christ. This is a highway. I don't understand why it's 35 miles an hour through here. But it's all good. We're making a left-hand turn out of here anyway. Or right, I meant a right-hand turn off of here. Jesus, I'm bad. <laughs> uh, I'm just I'm just out of it today. We're going to pull into a spot here. We could have a uh, double thing. And don't worry about it. I know I was going the wrong way. Don't worry about it. Oh, are we even going to fit here is the question. Yeah, we fit perfectly. I'm going to be sticking out a little bit, but that's all right. All right, I'm going to go ahead and hop into the uh, store here. And we're going to go get our brand new lawnmower. Alright guys, so here we are with our awesome new riding mower for O'Neill Farms. Um, the mower was actually made by Bagged, and I went ahead and looked, and the trailer was actually made by Bagged, and I'm not mental. So we're going to be using bag stuff today. But check it out, I wish there was a template included with this, so I can actually make like a John Deere skin for it, because I don't really care for the Xmark skin. But hopefully there's no cars coming through. But I, I believe this is actually the first... Uh, riding mower of this style made for GTA 5. 
I know there is one out there, but this is an actual add-on. The trailer can be an add-on or replace. I just replaced the trailer small for this one. But as you saw there, it is a script, so we can put down the uh, ramp and stuff. And I'm hoping this thing actually fits on the trailer. I'm going to be pretty mad if it doesn't. And it does. Press A to hook. Boom. Done. Don't want to... Nope, I'm not unhooking that. Nope. Press A to close the ramp. Boom. And now we can actually get back on our way up to O'Neill Farms. I got some uh, tire tracks on the parking lot there. I wonder who that could be from. We're going to hop back to O'Neill's this way. I believe this way I can go this way. I think I can go this way. That's a back road, ain't it? I'm going to be on the back roads, I believe. Make sure that trailer's nice and secured. So it looks like it is. Yeah, I knew I could have gone this way. It's a back road. We're going to end up taking the back roads back down to uh, Grape Seed instead. Yeah, this way. Yeah. So we'll go this way. And this should take us all the way back down to uh, Sandy Shores. It's going to be a bumpy ride. Really shouldn't have taken this way, but it's going to be a very, very bumpy ride. To be honest, I probably should have taken the main highway, but oh well. So this is Smoke Tree Road. Yeah, and so we're not going to go that way, so we can only go this way, it looks like. Man, that sunset. I need some shades. And of course, we're going to be stuck behind a freaking RV. For the life of me. Can't pass it either. Alright, so we finally got back out on the main road at Panorama Drive. Um, we're going to be heading north in the Sandy Shores right now. Then we're going to be heading eastbound to go back to Grapeseed here on Joshua Road. This should be enough. Yep, there's a buggy right there. Just cruising down the back road. Oh, we just, Pat, we just missed that train. Holy shit. We just missed that damn thing. Uh, so he, okay, well, whatever. I thought he was going to let us go, then he decided to go, so I stopped. That Dodge Ram looks broken. But listen to this baby start up. I wish they actually had some, like, actual Chevy Silverado sounds. I mean, this sounds like the default GTA 5 truck sound. I do have this in the uh, Bobcat XL spot. So it's going to sound like a Bobcat. That Dodge Ram is still broken. No LODs to it whatsoever. There's another one. Oh, that's a Ford F F-150. Vote Cranley. And we're actually going to make a left-hand turn over here to head back into Grapeseed. follow this dirt bike it looks like we can pass which is nice but there's a vehicle all right so we're gonna head up this way back to O'Neill's um, the roads just up over here that we could take so this way And uh, the house should be up over there, right? Back up this way, right? Oh, the house is right up over there. I forgot where I was going for a second. But I mean, O'Neill pretty much owns this entire uh, farm area and grape seeds, so. Cow! Jesus Christ. Somehow, magically, the uh, mower's still good. We're going to take this up over here to the house where he wanted it. And, yeah. I actually park it in that garage there is where he actually wanted it. That's where we end up keeping the truck at all times. If I can actually get that into the garage, that will be perfect. Oh, maybe, 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 maybe. Swing it out just a little bit. Oh, clutch. 
I wish I was this good in ATS for backing up trailers. Clutch. Alright guys. So we successfully brought the lawnmower back. That's going to go ahead and do it for this one. I really did hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Hit that like button on your way out if you did. Drop a brand new or drop a comment. Subscribe if you're brand new and you enjoy the content. Holy crap, we just broke the mower. Um, we just flipped the mower over. I'm going to go run away just so O'Neill doesn't see that. But hope you enjoy it. Take care, guys. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.